Okay. So obviously inflammation is a, is a big factor. So what could, what could a person do to kind of food wise to kind of mitigate some of that inflammation? Because for us, inflammation is just a, it, it's almost like a, a, like it's mandatory. It's almost like one of the things that you do on a daily basis, no matter how good of a jujitsu practitioner you are, you're going to, you're going to strain something at some point or another. Uh, it may, may not necessarily be like, like injured, but you're straining it, uh, putting a lot of pressure on it. So there is always going to be some type of healing process, not just muscularity, but also at the joint level. And a lot of that healing process is inflammation based. So not only, you know, actually externally um, doing what you can to help that injury heal, but what could you do food wise that can yeah. kind of also speed up that process as well? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I mean, internally, um, the, the one thing I always tell people, it almost seems like it's too easy, but, but just focusing on nutrient quality of your foods, right? So we kind of get into that whole, um, you know, nutrient density. So being uh, plant based foods, um, are going to be your highest nutrient density as opposed to calorie dense foods. Right. Um, so, so, you know, I always just tell people like the more, the more colors, right. So fruits, vegetables, dark greens, um, you know, especially when it, when it comes to antioxidants and anti-inflammatory things like oranges, uh, purples, uh, reds, things like that. So, um, I think that's like the first one that I would attack and it's the easiest one, right? Because it's, that's literally just, you know, um, just cleaning up your diet and just, and just focusing it on, um, a lot of good, healthy, you know, eating a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, getting in good, healthy carbohydrates, um, you know, being complex version, you know, potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, rice, quinoa, lentils, beans, things like that. Those are all going to have so many like nutritional aspects of them that are going to help you recover from not only injury, but like just everything you're doing throughout the day. Um, and then uh, omega threes are another big one, right? So o omega threes are going to be found like mainly, you know, best in fatty fish, um, salmon, things like that. Uh, you can get them from walnuts as well. Um, and the one thing I think that's one of those things a lot of people are probably on the edge of being deficient on. So I always recommend probably a, a good uh, a good fish oil supplement. Omega three fish oil supplement would be. Uh, would be really good as well. Um, and then just making sure your, your, uh, um, the, your antioxidants in, right. So again, that's going to be, you know, by, you know, um, citrus fruits and then again, anything orange. So we're getting into like, uh, keratins. So sweet potatoes, carrots, things like that. Um, those are going to have a lot of vitamin C in them. And then those are going to, you know, antioxidants are obviously going to help wash away some of that oxidative stress that you, you accumulate through, you know, um, a combat sport and that can help you recover as well. 